Hey, what's up everyone? It's Sam here from Set Cell Studios and I just wanted to say a big thank you for checking out my font opulent. I can't wait to show you guys this one, so I've put together a quick video to show you guys what's included and how to use it. So Opulent is a hand-painted brush font which comes in three different styles, SVG, brush and solid. Um, you can install these versions in the exact same way, uh, you just extract the zip folder and then double click the font files and select install. The solid and the brush versions of the font, uh, those are compatible with any graphics or text program which um, can use or which supports custom fonts. Um, the SVG version is only compatible with Photoshop CC 2017 and Illustrator CC 2018 or newer. Um, but I have included all the characters from the SVG font in a Photoshop file um, which has all of the characters on a separate layer as images. So if you're using like an older version of Photoshop or if you're using a program which can open Photoshop files like um, Affinity Designer for example then you can still have access to the characters in the SVG font. So the SVG font works slightly differently to the other fonts so I'm going to take a quick look at how to use it in Photoshop and Illustrator. So in Photoshop the first thing I'd recommend doing is turning off any anti-aliasing, I can never pronounce that, um, it's uh, in the character panel um, and that will just help the font run a bit smoother. Um, so yeah, using the font is, is really easy, it's just a case of typing out um, each letter as you would with any other font, uh, but to colour the font um, you can right click on the layer in the layers panel and select the blending options and then use the colour overlay option to add some colour to your text. In Illustrator it's the same again in terms of um, typing out the text with the type tool, uh, but then to colour the font you will need to rasterize the text um, with a transparent background selected. Uh, and then head to edit colors and uh, adjust color balance. Tick the preview option uh, and then you can use the sliders to choose a color for your text. Cool, I think that covers most of it, um, but if you had any other questions please do drop me an email at sam at setsellstudios.com. Uh, yeah, thanks guys for checking it out, I hope you enjoy it and I will see you later.